hi and welcome to my video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a book review of The Magpie Society One for Sorrow by Zoe Sugg aka Zoella and Amy McCulloch I hope I've said her name right and I just want to start off in saying that this book is really pretty look at the front cover and even without the book jacket on there's a purple leaf purple feather I mean and that's pretty as well and even like here it's purple with loads of birds and on the chapters let me get to the chapter each chapter has like birds flying around where it says one, chapter one, or chapter two, and so on. And I also just want to show off that this is signed by the authors as well, so that's cool too. So this book is a murder mystery and it's the first that I've read in this genre and I was pleasantly surprised. I really did like it. I read this within three nights, so about 100 pages a night. How it's written is pretty basic. That's not a bad thing because like it's nice and easy to read, you can just read and read like it's not hard to grasp. So this book is a murder mystery and it's based on the death of a student called Lola Radcliffe and these two students called Ivy and Audrey who are trying to uncover the reason behind her death and out of this comes a podcast called Who Killed Lola and they're also trying to figure out who is running this podcast because they're saying some things that they shouldn't be saying and this isn't spoilers because it happens within the first few chapters and they're also trying to find out the truth about some mysterious magpie society which is like a spirit of people who are protecting the school, the school Elam Hall which they go to. So this book has alternating chapters in the perspectives of either Ivy or Audrey. So Ivy has been going to Elam Hall which is this English prestigious boarding school and she's been going there her whole life and then this new student Audrey who comes from America so she's an American in this English poshy boarding school and she's trying to escape her past back home and then suddenly gets dragged into what's happening at the school surrounding the death of Lola Radcliffe and she gets like absorbed into Ivy who's also trying to figure out how this happened. The unlikely duo of Ivy and Audrey leads to them seeking justice for this kid Lola Radcliffe and they discover like secret passageways in their school, they uncover hidden truths and it kind of gives me like Sherlock Holmes, Nancy Drew vibes and like throughout you think it's this person who's like in charge of this who killed Lola podcast which is circulating the school and other times you think it's this person and it turns out it's this person and you're like so in the beginning it is kind of slow and the only thing that kept me like reading on is because it gave me very wild child vibes if you've seen that with Emma Robertson but as soon as you get um a halfway through or a bit more in like stuff just gets dump loaded and you're just like oh what's going on and then eventually it keeps like getting unraveled like this mystery keeps getting unraveled more and more and you're left on a cliffhanger which is annoying, but then that means the next book is called Two for Joy, which is coming out, which I'll be reading because this is like... <whistles> so this murder mystery isn't like the typical genre I would read, but I really did enjoy it. I like the whole aspect of like Ivy and Audrey not really getting along in the beginning and then becoming like besties. And I like the aspect of like this podcast, like who is like spreading lies or who is trying to like pick up the gossip again surrounding the death and I really like the idea of the secret society, the Magpie Society, which is like protecting the school, protecting the school's reputation, like doing what it takes and I just like the reference to birds, well particularly the magpies, throughout, like, throughout descriptions you'll see like you'll read about these birds here and they're, like, what they're doing and all that and I like the whole like beware of the magpies and don't cross the magpies and like school traditions of like throw a penny in the water and the magpies will protect you. So this was released just a couple of weeks ago and so the references in it are very, very, like they're using Instagram, they're using Snapchat, they're using like all the stuff. This can be read by anyone but there, yeah, there are a few swear words in there so maybe not everyone. It's very easy to read and once you're like in it you know like what's going on. And it's very gripping which is what you want from a murder mystery but this isn't like a creepy murder mystery like this is I want to say light-hearted but it's not light-hearted it's kind of like playful you know like it's not scary it's, it's a light-hearted murder I don't know where I'm going with this so yeah I just want to say that I really like this book and I can't wait for the second one Tooth for Joy to come out and yeah if you like my review please like and subscribe for more Obviously, because I'll be reviewing when the second book's come out, and I'll be reviewing other books and other things like that. Yay! Bye!